What is up, guys? This is Titanium Fireworks here, and for my first ever video, as far as this community goes, I'm actually going to be showing you guys four of, well, the four biggest and really the only four, like, actual fountains that you could buy at the grocery store I work at that were not part of assortments. Now, I do want to make something very clear off the bat. I'm not somebody who... Even though I'm new to fireworks themselves, I'm not somebody who's so ignorant to believe that these are a good value. Phantom Fireworks themselves, the company that made all of these, is known for having price gouging in their own stores. So the fact that these were through a grocery store, that should tell you that these are going to be really low level, like entry level uh, consumer fireworks that are going to be extremely price gouged. And something I want to talk about is like the fact that these look pretty decently big, you'd think they would have some weight to them, but... Like, they feel substantially lighter than I feel like normal fountains of this size uh, would actually feel in weight. And what I'm imagining is going on here is since these are for, like, a basic consumer, and let me get an actual uh, shot of all of them here. Uh, but since they're for, like, you know, a very low-level consumer, I think they're expecting people to maybe, like, bump them around their car, maybe with their groceries even. So they're made to have a lot of room where, like, the actual fountain is probably encased inside of like between a lot of like room like a lot of space or maybe even like padding and i'm not exactly sure how that would work but that's just what i'm imagining is going on and why they look so large now i do have to say this is like substantially actually like heavy compared to the other fountains i mean i would still expect it to like a fountain closer to this size maybe not to feel as heavy but feel closer in weight to that but Definitely, I would say I expect that one to actually be like somewhat legitimate compared to the others. But as far as the point of this video goes, because it seems probably like just me rambling, which to be fair, that is what it's been thus far. I actually just want to light all these off tonight and really see like if you're just shopping at the grocery store and you happen to see a Phantom Fireworks rack or maybe something of the equivalent, you know, would buying like the biggest stuff on there would it actually give you something of a decent like little thing you could do for your family, maybe a few friends in your backyard, maybe even on the 4th of July or just a few days before if you wanted to do something smaller before you light off some aerials and such. And obviously I know better value fountains even can be bought at a uh, fireworks store as well, even if like aerials are still illegal in the state you live in. I'm not sure if, like, I think fountains might even also be illegal in California. I think that state's, like, extremely strict with them at this point. But um, as far as mine goes, we actually are kind of uh, going the other direction. A few years ago, a new tax bill actually made the aerials legal here. So I did order a, uh, it ended up being 23 different cakes. Mo I think most of them are 500 grams. So I'm pretty excited to actually be able to do uh, a few videos with that stuff uh, for the fourth and everything, but it's kind of a way to just get the channel started off. I thought this would be kind of something cool to do for you guys again, and hopefully we can, I guess, call it like a, uh, I bought these so you don't have to, because they did end up being a little bit over $50 together, so again, obviously the value is probably not there for the effects we're going to get, but ultimately we're going to find out you know, if you just happened to pick up a few fireworks at the grocery store, would it even be worth your time? So I'm just waiting for the rain to clear up. Uh, I should be able to go out in like an hour or so to actually light all these off for you guys. But I just wanted to show you uh, the real reason why these uh, fountains were feeling so light to me. So obviously the size of it would have you think it's going to be a decent little fountain here. And when you actually take a look inside, you see that you have four little uh, tubes encased with your uh, active powder which obviously these are going to be i'm assuming different fountain effects like it's going to start out of here then it'll come out of or not start out of here it'll probably start out of the one that the fuse comes out of that would make more sense but you get my point each one's going to have different little effects but what you can see they did was they just wrapped these four tubes around a huge huge center core that's like for like in a way the majority of the space in this entire setup here and yet obviously there's no actual active uh, ingredient in there whatsoever it's just empty space it's meant to make it so that it basically the tube looks decently big overall until you actually get to see inside um, but you know this is really what you could probably expect from 
pretty basic consumer fireworks. I do have to say a couple of them, this one's not too bad, but a couple of them had really short fuses I noticed, which I'm like, that would be kind of annoying, especially for the person who's just gonna be, you know, using a lighter to light these up. You know, you could potentially burn your hands on those because the fuses, they do burn pretty hot if you've ever lit up a firework before. So definitely something to consider there. Uh, overall though, <laughs> this is what we're working with. Definitely not what you would want in a, uh, in really any firework, obviously. So what I wanted to kind of do is actually light them off in order of cost and reveal the cost of each one as they uh, go. So this first one for you guys right here was uh, $6.99 and it is called Night Terror, in case you missed it earlier. Let's get the flash off. Wow, it might help to light the fuse a little bit actually. All right, not too loud or anything, which is kind of nice. Nothing too high, it's probably like very max of like six feet that some of those get up to. I'm like six, five myself and none of them are really, eh, maybe like seven feet it gets up there, some of the little sparks, but okay, it's cool. Well, that thing I said about not being too loud, <laughs> I just got thrown out the window. But, I mean, you guys tell me, what do you think? Obviously, as far as value goes, you could get a lot better for that cost at a real fireworks store. But for the smallest cake out of the, or <laughs> cake, yeah, the smallest fountain out of the four I got from the grocery store, not too bad of a start. So up next, we have our little uh, $9.99 fountain that I actually, uh, of course, uh, cut open for myself. So you can see once again, not too much actual active powder compared to the size, but even that first one wasn't too bad in the way of what it put up, so maybe it'll be something decent as well. You can see the other one over there. I flipped it upside down once I uh, poured water on it, just to make sure, like, I mean, e like, the chances of it having any kind of active discharge after that would be extremely low, but you never know what could happen, so. And you can see, oh man, you can see where the, the shells were glued down at a point, and then they kind of like shifted. <laughs> Not shells, I mean the uh, tubes. But let's see it. Gotta be careful. So I got other fuse exposed. I don't want to have anything stupid happen. Okay, I like that it still keeps going after that because normally, like cheaper fountains, that's how they finish off. And also, I had to step back a little bit, man, when that started coming out. This one definitely is a little bit bigger than the last fountain was, I feel. A little bit more impressive, too. Not too shabby. Up next we got the uh, Savage Fountain here. This was $12.99. Definitely looks like it should be more impressive than the other ones from the size standpoint, but obviously we know after cutting that one open, it's probably just a couple of uh, little tubes with powder in here, and then this is just completely uh, hollow, just for a show. But in any case, it's definitely one of the shorter fuse ones I was talking about too. Let's see how it looks though. Ooh. It's not one to go. There we go. Jesus. All right. Kind 
I have a feeling this one's gonna get bigger, like the radius. So I'm just preparing myself now. Yeah, here we go, okay. Oh, it goes up a little bit. Whoa, it like shoots up little uh, shots there, it's interesting. I like these quieter cracks, they're not so aggressive like the other ones are. Like they're still really cool in person, but like, I feel like my neighbors must be able to hear like that. A little bit shorter than the second fountain, I feel like. Um, I think it really just blows through what it has in there a little bit faster. All right, though. I mean, honestly, from a value standpoint, I feel like that felt about the same as the one that was uh, $8.99. So, and I feel like they've both been a step up definitely from the first one. That first one was a little bit smaller in terms of the radius and everything that it had on that uh, actual, I guess, fountain. <laughs> but uh, definitely, I feel like these two felt like they were about the same value, which they were a couple bucks apart, so that could be expected. So the last found we got here is a fire agent, which a little bit more excited for than the other one, just because from a size standpoint, definitely was more impressive, uh, but also the weight of it felt much more substantial. You can see once again, you got the similar situation going on. I decided to open it up at the last second just so we could have a look, but the same type of situation. This one really has a lot of loose glue where they kind of messed up. Uh, I don't really know what's going on with that, but um, as far as the actual insides go, definitely more impressive tubes, I would say a little bit. They're I feel like they're a little bit wider. Obviously, they're longer because the whole thing's taller, but it is still like that hollow core with just like the tubes, you know, coming through here. Much longer fuse to the tube, though, which I like. So, without further ado, let's get ye old light and give her a look. That's just what one tube was packing, not too bad. Oh, it's got the little comets in there coming out. It's like a little like Roman candle -like looking plop. Okay, here comes the third one. some time let me get it on a different angle too yeah oh I like the fourth one that's cool oh. all right definitely felt like that had to have been longer than the other ones by a little bit uh, each tube was pretty substantial the amount of charge it actually gave off and uh i definitely feel like that one deceives you a little bit because there's twice where you get like some really nice colors where you might want to like just look a little bit closer because it, there it's like a really small radius and then it just starts going off you kind of gotta just be uh, wary of that but overall i mean not too bad uh from any of those fans i feel like now obviously we know the value like i've reiterated a million times is not really necessarily going to be there but if you're in a situation where you're just going to the grocery store, you know, you can't make a special trip to a super fireworks store or you're still, you know, in an area where aerial fireworks just are not legal, but fountains like this are. And you just happen to see these at, you know, your local grocery store or wherever. You know, I, I mean, obviously you can judge from this video whether to you or not it'd be worth picking up. But I feel like to the average person just trying to have fun in their backyard on the 4th without having to make a special trip or maybe let's say they just can't justify making a special trip and spending more than like 30 or 40 bucks. You know, I mean, that was a legitimate, like, little uh, display there. I mean, of different fountains. It was definitely a fun time, and I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry it's so uh, dark. 
I could certainly stand to turn on the flash. <laughs> There's the uh, three dead cakes over there. This one I didn't really technically kill. I didn't actually pour water on this one. I've just been letting it chill here for a minute, obviously, because I didn't <laughs> cut anything. But I think we're uh, pretty safe to come up to it at this point. It's not even smoking or anything, which, hey, don't be like me. Don't, you know, anything could always go wrong, but I think at this point we're all right. In any case, though, you can see the way I did it was just on a uh, little flat 10-pound plate just so we'd have a surface. Grass is super wet, which honestly is kind of nice because you can just put out the cakes by flipping them upside down, even uh, if you didn't have water. But, uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> grabbing a, a fountain obviously would be pretty stupid, uh, without pouring water on top of it. So maybe, maybe don't take that advice. I was about to leave off with saying that and then I caught myself. Sorry guys, it's a little bit late. I'm a little bit tired, but I do hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, and yeah, I guess determine for yourself whether or not you feel like that would be a worthy value or even, I guess, a worthwhile use of your time uh, buying some fireworks like this. As far as uh, just being at the local grocery store though, I mean, I didn't have super high expectations, so I can't say I was disappointed. You know, I had a good time out here and I feel like you and your family could too, but obviously if you're able to make it to a fireworks store or even order them online, that is certainly something that I would recommend doing over this. But with all that being said, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace.